So here's my uh, Blue Eddy, and it's charging up. I just got new panels for it. <clears throat> I've got 940 watts worth of solar panels outside. And this is early morning. The sun just came up and started hitting the panels. And you see already, I'm putting out 570 watts for those panels. And this is the early model uh, AC200, so it can only take like 700 watts. So I over paneled it um, so that when it's cloudy or um, early morning and, and also it's November. So uh, yeah, the sun's kind of low in the sky anyways. But you can see how much power this thing's pushing out. So I'll show you the panels here in a minute. Um, I have the a refrigerator hooked up to it, actually a freezer. And that's pulling around 140 watts of power. And, but this thing's charging itself up. I think it started at like 83 this morning and already it's up to 92% charge. So it's not gonna take any time at all to keep this thing running. So with that many, much solar panels on this uh, Blue Eddy, I could have a number of refrigerators hooked up to it. And I got my furnace uh, wired in as well. If I needed it, I could run an aux. Um, I can't run the heat pump with it, but I could run my uh, propane furnace with it. Um, so I could charge up all kinds of stuff with this thing, with this much power coming in. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking about upgrading <clears throat> the system, get the new uh, AC200 Max that has the expandable battery. So then I could get like four or 6,000 watts of storage this thing only has 1,700 watts of storage, so it's going to max out here pretty quick. But with that much solar panel, um, you know, it could charge up the battery pretty easily. And that's awesome. So you can see my solar panels up in the woods here. I have four 235-watt uh, panels, so I got 940 watts worth of solar. And I just want to show you the, the early morning sunlight is hitting those. And that was giving us a little less than 600 watts right now. But right now, as soon as the sun gets up in the sky, I'm sure they'll put, be putting out near to their full capacity. Um, I buried a cable going into my house. Um, that's how they're receiving the power. Now, I used to have two 180 watt panels for 360 watts total. And it would charge the Blue Eddy, um, but it would just take a long time to do it. Um, the, these things here, they'll charge it up in a couple hours, um, well, about three hours, I guess. It was fully depleted, a little over that, um, which is really good. Let me show you how you constructed it. Hey, so I upgraded my solar panels uh, for charging the Blue Eddy. I used to have two 180 watt panels, so a maximum of 360 watts. And they would push out maybe 200 watts of power, uh, depending on the sun and all that. Um, but uh, I found it took a long time to charge the Blue Eddy that way. Um, so I upgraded. I bought these off this guy for 50 bucks a piece. So that was pretty cheap. And they're 230 watts each. So I got 940 watts now. Now I got a first gen Blue Eddy, so it only accepts 700 watts. But... Like right now, they're only pushing out a little less than 600 watts because it's early morning sun. And you can see the length of my shadow here. It's pretty, um, it's November, so um, the sun's kind of low in the sky. Um, but anyways, uh, so this is a pretty good setup, I think, for the Blue Eddy because um, the Blue Eddy will accept only 700 watts. So I over paneled it a little bit um, so that it will charge relatively quickly compared to before it was relatively slow. <laughs> so that's kind of important. Um, let me show you the back. On the back here, I have uh, two of the panels wired in series and then they're paralleled together so that get the voltage correct because the Blue Eddy will accept 48 volts. If you wired them all in series, that voltage would be too much and you want to make sure the voltage is correct. Now, like I said, the, this, it'll only accept 700 watts, but it's able to roll that back. Um, if you have more than that going into it, it'll only accept 700 watts, but the voltage has to be correct. 
So the way this, the, these, like these two panels on the left, you can see that they're in series because these two are hooked together. This wire here comes down and it goes from one to the other. And then they have one wire from each of those going out and then they're wide together over here with the positive and on this one, the negative from the other side. Um, it's kind of hard to, to look at it with this mess of wires, but uh, just Google um, wiring uh, two or four um, 24 volt panels for 48 volt output and uh, it'll come up with a better wiring diagram than this, this is what you can see. But it's pretty simple. You just run these two in series and then parallel them together with the other two in series on this side. Um, that's all there is to it. But just make sure the voltage is correct coming out of it. Um, looking at the frame, uh, I made this with two by fours and two by threes and uh, put some wheels on it so I can tool it around a little bit and uh, put some stands on this side. I probably need to put an attachment here uh, or a weight or something to make sure this doesn't blow over with the wind. I'm in the woods, so it's kind of secluded from the wind anyways, but um, yeah, I don't want it tipping over. And then um, I have two four by eight um, frames with a support piece in the middle here for my uh, stand so I can change the angle. And down at the bottom, there's three door hinges that I put in there so I can uh, tilt it up or tilt it back. At this latitude in Pennsylvania, about 45 degrees in the winter and about 20 degrees in the summer and about 30 some degrees in the spring and fall. So I'm just gonna tilt it back some in the summer um, the main thing is in the winter, it's more going to be more challenged because the sun is lower in the sky. So you want to tilt them up a little bit. Uh, let's see, the construction of the frame is pretty simple. And I covered it with polyurethane. Didn't do a pretty job there, but I just want to make sure that it didn't um, rot the wood after a while. Doing it again, I'd probably use 2 by 4s all the way around, even though it'd be a little heavier. Uh, the, the, the solar panels are really pretty heavy themselves. I'm not sure what each one weighs, but yeah, they're not light. So um, I want to make sure that I got enough frame underneath it to support them. And this is probably minimum. I wouldn't want to go on anything lighter duty than this, for sure. And I do have that support pole here screwed into the bottom so it doesn't, uh, wind comes up, it doesn't tip over. And I'll probably move it back to this corner in the summer and then I'll maybe put it on the ground and then screw it in you know from the side uh, into that wood piece so it doesn't go anywhere and you could do bolts or whatever but I don't know I just made it simple I'm only going to change it like once a year so it's not a big deal uh, that's about it I guess but the big thing here that I found is the Bluetti is able to accept the power and even in November though the sun's probably lowest in the sky of any time of the year um, well, I guess I don't know, for the winter solstice, whenever that is, that's the lowest time of the year. But, um, you know, it's putting out really good power. Like I had almost 600 watts early morning. Um, so I, and I wanted to capture that. I showed you that earlier because I know it's going to charge it right up really quick. And that's the whole point. You know, with this much solar panel going into the Blue Eddy, it's only going to take from zero all the 100. It'd only take it like a little more than three hours. So that's really good. Um, and I'm going to take the two 180 watt panels and I'll put that on top of my van and I'm going to have a, a hookup for the Blue Eddy in the van so I can use it camping. And that's the nice thing about the Blue Eddy, the versatility of it. You know, you can go from one use, just normal use if you want, or you can use it for camping or if the power goes out, then you got power. Um, and now the newer one has a uh, another battery module that you can put on it. And probably I'll, uh, the next one I buy, I'll probably get uh, the Blue Eddy with a battery module. And I'll already have a good solar array set up for to accept the power. Anyways, um, that's my system. It's working good. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to leave it hooked up to that freezer and uh, just see how long it lasts. 
and next time around I'll probably get the battery array so I can uh, have longer periods uh, to use the battery in case there's no sun or something. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and add a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> kind of funny. I, I came down to see what the uh, the charging rate was. It's only been like an hour or two later since it started. And only it was it was at like eighty high eighties when it started this morning. But it topped it off already. It's it's already done charging, and that's what I was looking for because the old system with the um, 360 watts of solar would take it a long time to charge up, and here it's already done. It's already topped off. It's good to go, um, and that's what I was looking for because I needed something that would charge this thing up a lot faster than what was going on. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, throw that in the comment section below, and we will talk to you later. Bye. So this is a few days later, and today it's a cloudy day. And just to show you what my 940 watts has given me on a cloudy day, well, it's around 30 watts of power, maybe 40. Um, and it's early morning, it's only like 10 o'clock, um, so it might get a little better. I was actually hoping to get a little bit more power out of the system, even on a cloudy day. So I guess the moral of this story is if you don't have sun, yeah, it's not going to charge very well at all. So you'll probably have to have an alternate means of charging the Blue Eddy. Because at this rate, it's not going to charge up very fast at all on a cloudy day. But if the sun's out, yeah, we're in business. So I just want to give you this other view as well know what to expect. All right, hope it helps. We'll talk to you later. Bye.